Well, there are two of Australia's finest female singers. Amanda Easton has been a darling of the indie pop scene over the past few years, thanks to her unique theatrical style and quirky sound. I dance to the music in my head. Don't pity cause I hear this tune instead. concert in Sydney later this month. For all the details, we'll head to our website. We'll come up into the light, ladies. You know, we, we know you're at the end of a great song when you go, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, what does that song mean to you? That's a ripper. Well, that song came out in the 80s, of course, but um, and Billie Holiday came out in the 50s, but it actually reflects a lot of the things that was happening back then, a lot of the racism, a lot of the gender inequality. And yeah. so it kind of updates the message. Yeah. Okay, so you're part of the Ladies Sing the Blues. You've, you've yes. got blue hair in yes. honour of it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> this weekend, tell us about it. Uh, it's actually the 23rd of July. Okay. It's at the Opera House, and there are seven divas, not just the two of us. We thought mm. all seven of us might be too much for you to take. So <laughs> too it's much just of a uh, for Larry. <laughs> Lady yeah, Cool. That's right. That's mm. right. And this is Lady Cool's idea. It's been a, an idea brewing in her head for a long time. But we're all big fans of Billie Holiday, and she means a lot to a lot of singers. Fantastic. Yeah, music has gone in so many different directions. It's important to keep this music alive, isn't it? Mm. It really no, is. It certainly is. And also